Hello everybody, this is Andrew for GameZone, continuing our Dark Souls 2 playthrough. Got Ray 2 on her way here. Never have any Estus Flash Chunks, Charge, Shizzles. Alright, we're getting that adaptability up. Our adaptability is low. Wow, that was a lot of souls. Uh, Iron Keep is a pretty good place to farm souls, just the normal enemies give a lot. Um, and that's about it. Um, let's go back there to the Iron Horth Hall, which is where we killed Smelter. We're in a world without Smelter. We got the lots of rings last episode. Gold Covenant Silver Serpent Ring plus one. Or, wow. Gold Covenant Gold Serpent Ring plus one. Silver Covenant Serpent Ring plus one. And Ring of Blades plus one. Doing pretty good on the ring front. Still don't have enough stamina to kill these guys straight up. Got these two turtle neck guys. The one in the back is going to break the ground, which is just going to make us force us to make an easy jump. Uh, no big deal, really. I think he's going to run away and like try to hide behind a corner. Oh boy. Yeah, see lots of big enemies in this area. Which mean a lot of souls. Like he was 1,122 with the Jester's gloves on. And the Silver Covenant Serpent Ring plus one. Troll dude's gonna hang around here. Uh, we gotta... Whoa. Oh boy, his combo. We gotta watch... Yeah. That wasn't the turtle that hit me. It was the stupid Ballista. Oh! I mean, not the Ballista, the... Knights shooting the big arrows. He almost hit me there. I, I kind of... Oh. <sighs> well, that happened. I didn't know where... I wasn't aware those guys would do that unless you backstabbed them. But I guess they do otherwise. So that happened. When we start losing our hair, that is when it tells me it's time to use another effigy. That was a weird rhyme, and I apologize. I'm not going to rhyme again. Guy's wearing one of the dwarf helmets. It's kind of cool. Alright, so now we're feeling a little bit healthier. Nope. I got adaptability, son. Was he about to punch me? I don't know, man. I don't know. Tur Whoa, Turtle Bro in the back is breaking the ground. That's going to hit. Oh, uh, well. Jeez. Not a good start for Ray today. Wasn't human for very long. Give her that. Two deaths in under four minutes. Looking good. The Phoenix Parma is actually in this area. It's underneath kind of... It's the area before... Uh, Smelter Demon... In the lava. That's gonna hit. Really? You have no hit points. There we go. Sad that human life lasted so shortly. Well, that happened again. At least it didn't kill me this time. For a turtle or like a beetle type thing, he gets up pretty quickly. Large Titanite Charge. Probably the worst of the Titanite Charge just because you can get him so easily. That's gonna hit. Because I hit the freaking wall. Getting greedy. Felt that before it even hit. You know, let's play this safe. He is not going to follow us. Let's drink up. Whoa! Didn't even know that was equipped. 
How the hell did I have that out? Gotta hear some sign. What are you gonna do? It's what I thought. That's what invincibility frames do. That should have a hundred percent hit me. Here's some free and easy souls. Ooh, hey, what's up, buddy? Use LOS to get him in here and then beat him down. This is gonna kill these two turtle knights. Kill him dead. This opens up a secret to the PvP arena for the second PvP arena for the uh, Bell Covenant. Guess we can run around there. There's the bonfire. More people like my giant's message. Alright, so there's a very, 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 very high chance we're gonna get involved in some PvP here. Because these bell guys love to invade. And the bad part is you usually have to deal with two of them. First time you do this, you have to deal with the uh, these one-time phantoms, like there's a mage right there. These ugh, the little guys respawn. These big guys don't. Whoa! That was kind of cool. I like to try to kill as many of these dudes as I can before the invaders come. Because guess what? They're coming. Boy, are they coming. I don't even know what that sound was. It sounded like a... Oh boy, oh boy! It sounded like a jet flew over. Crush that guy. Ring the bail, open the gate. Grab this item. Grab whatever this is. Orma's Great Shield? I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Guess it was a drop off the Black Phantom, so it's probably quasi rare. Crossbow Bro. Give the old one, too. I'm really surprised I haven't been invaded. I mean, I'm actually, I guess, kind of low level for this area. So that's probably in my benefit, and the fact that I'm uh, not 100% human is probably helping that fact, too. Oops. Playing some bad here, though. I don't know what's easier, to kill the little dudes first or kill the big... Ow! They shoot those things fa I'm probably going to die. Yep, I called that. I called that early. Alright, so we're going to try that again. Hopefully we'll actually get invaded this time. There's some uh, neat little goodies past that part and um, some secrets, actually. Some secret passages. Hopefully I won't get killed by the NPC invaders or NPC Black Phantoms. Only have to deal with that big sword guy. The little dudes will be there again, but they're not the issue. Whoa. Belfry Soul, that's what this area is called, I can't remember. Belfry Luna is the other one. And Lost Bastille. 
Little guys by themselves, not too difficult. Two little guys. Man, they were pelting me with those short bows, though. Gotta give them credit for that one. Definitely online. Definitely seeing phantoms. Definitely seeing messages. Where's the invasions? That's the thing about newish games and PvP is that people usually like to have like their full set or like I forgot this guy will actually come up here. Let's get away from the little dudes. I don't need their arrows. Um, they want to have like their stats, their weapons. Who part? I believe this game has some sort of gear score too. So if you're like trying to make yourself super powerful, but keeping like your your soul level low, they're gonna still put you in a higher bracket. I swear, they're like freaking sociopaths. I mean, I think they are actually sociopaths. So. Yeah, so there's phantoms, there's messages. Where are the players? Spice for the incense dragon guy. Immolation. Pyromancy. I believe there's. There's a secret somewhere around here. Is it along this wall? There we go. I knew I wasn't crazy. Black Knight Greatsword. Classic weapon. Protective Chime. Grand Giant Tree Shield. I think that's the reward for having 50 tokens of fidelity. That for the Blue Sentinels, who I am in part of. What can we do on Sis Six Estus? Let's find out. You know what? Let's ugh, let's leave those guys right where they are. We don't need to aggro those turtle guys. Let's drop these guys in the drink. That fall. That platform is gonna fall. Guys pointing in the wrong direction. One, don't swing again. Two, and yeah, we're good. Again, swinging the one, not falling. Two, not falling. Three, falling. So that's the guy that's still sniping us. Ooh, it almost hitting. One. Nope. Well, oh, yep, one. Okay, now that we got rid of the snipers, just an item down here. Oh, these lizards! Ah! There's actually switches. You see that switch right in front of me? That will make a stream of lava come down. Oh, I'm about to get hit. Um, not the hardest thing to jump over, but one less thing to kill me, the better. Well, I'm beating this guy, and he's like, "Oh, I can keep shooting." Yeah, that's a hard item to get. Um, forget what it is, to be honest, but Flash Sweat, the Pyromancy, will help. Uh, using a uh, Life Gem will help. A uh, Fire Resist Ring helps, I believe. I do not have the current gear to try to get that. It's dangerous as hell. Ladder up here. Okay. Oh, crap. Wow, I didn't think they eat you unless you open it. Today I learned. 
Do not hit a Mimic in their front. Because they can still insta-eat you. That's just sad. This ladder is very easy to miss. I know it's on its own little raised platform. Don't matter, it's still really easy to miss. It's another one of those water ones. I've failed. Pointless. I still have a feeling it does something. Hell if I know what it does. We're not going to use it for now because I don't know. This part can be tricky. Lots of these archer guys. Because they're archer guys, they are not going to follow me. Get those two guys to shoot. Now we're going to charge this guy. If I can kill this guy but get shot, worth it. Or if I could do it without getting shot, even better. So now that I went near that guy, he should chase me. I guess to a point where he... I think that guy, uh, that guy in the back had a bad angle. Oh, come on. Get my stamina up. Ooh, barely dodged that. Did it all for the simpleton spice. And this. Not a mimic. Friend ahead. Black Knight Great Axe. Time to do some platforming. Let's keep the camera angle down. Not too difficult. Because I just said that. High chance I'm going to die. In fact, Red Eye Orb Torch. What was that guy doing? Looking to invade someone. Gubish. Followed by a little gubish. This is the hardest fall here. You don't want to fall in this vat of death. So fall here. We're good. This is a totally pointless ring. Because we actually got the plus one version before we got the regular. This guy normally tries to sneak behind you. He's a huge jerk. He's actually in that fog gate we could see before that... Um, haven't walked through. Oh boy, that was close. Transverse the mist from behind. So that's a, u a unique message. I actually snuck behind that mist. Why'd I do that? I have to deal with this guy. Was it worth the message? I don't think so. It's not the greatest place to be fighting one of these guys, just because I don't know that exact reason. So yeah, shouldn't walk through that mist. Alright everyone, we are back. We are at that fog gate now that I shouldn't have opened before. Use that trap to kill this turtle, bro. Or at least bring him down enough where we can just give him a few stabby stabbies. This is where we fell before, after we got the gold serpent ring. We're going to see this guy up there. If you're not paying attention, he will sneak behind you. Sometimes he walks off the edge here. Not one of those times. Sometimes he gets stabbed to death here. Shouldn't have done that. We're going to be hitting a bonfire. It's kind of a tight place for a turtle dude. It's actually a trap here you can set to kill the turtle guy. Or yourself. Depending on your timing. Uh, 
that was pretty good timing on my part. So that's one way to use the environments to kill that guy. About to get to a pretty nifty switch. Another ladder that's super easy to miss. You know what you're thinking, Andrew, why don't you just grab that item? Well, about to show you. Have a little faith in me. No, I skip a lot of stuff. This ain't something we're skipping. If you're going for all the bonfires achievement, this is an easy one to miss because I find this ladder just super easy to pass by. I've failed. What did that do? That shut off all the traps and the whole freaking keep. Iron Keep no longer is spewing fire from everywhere. Happiness, visions of tears. So this room, now that you're like, hey, you missed that. I mean, yeah, there's still spikes in the wall, but these things aren't spewing fire. Lightning bow plus one. We don't need to deal with that guy. This guy can be a pain because you're stuck between a turtle and fire. Oh boy, that was close. Getting the, the graze hits on, that's why it's doing so little damage. Let's kill him. Farewell, turtle bro. I actually have a good amount of souls. Let's life up. Just so we can... Take on... The old Iron King Primal. This guy... Not that difficult. Uh, he's one of the more gimmicky bosses. He's kind of reminds me of... Um... What's his name? Uh, from Dark Souls. Cecil's Discharge. If you don't actually glitch him. So yeah, you just gotta wait for him to put his arms down. A lot of stamina helps. Dodge. And... Dodge. Go to town. A few things you want to watch out for. That pit is a mother. This attack, you want to run to the edge. Dive through it if you can. The hardest about this place is having spatial awareness. There's that pit to my right right now. Now you can fall in and die, and you can, of course, fall in uh, any of the other pits. You can run back here if you want to dodge that fire. This is like super powerful hand attack. Like, if I was... Stop locking on. Uh, if I was over in that one little spot where he just attacked, I assume it would hurt a lot. Let's run away from the fire. Super powerful hand attack! Go! So if you have any sort of timing with dodging, you got this guy. Uh, that's it. So... That was a primal. Um... It's kind of a good boss to farm if you're looking to get tokens of fidelity or sunlight tokens. Uh, I believe this is some blind bone dust, which is really good. Yeah. Makes your Estus Flask make it a plus three. Uh, a lot of people farm him, especially mages, because they're going to sit back and pelt him. This is going to be like dead end. I don't think that's true. Yeah, I don't think that's true. The fact that it was rated 219 is just telling you how many trolls are in this community. So we are done with this wing. Ray 2 says, Sayonara to Old Iron King. The Iron Fortress. And all that other crap we just ran through. Got the Ember, got a bunch of good rings. 
Got another great soul. Emerald Herald's gonna be like, wow, you're the shit. I'm gonna agree. Soul. Your soul, I only hope. Let's level up. All adaptability. Ooh, no int. All adapt. Ooh, so much adaptability. Let's go to 30. Let's start getting that int up. We're gonna need 18 if we're gonna want. Um. Hmm, should we do gutter? Or forest. Gutter has greater magical weapon, but we don't have the int for it. So I guess we're gonna do forest first. Let's use the sublime dust because I always forget to. Let's call it an episode. Two primals down. Farewell, everyone.